everyone, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel Sewing Bunny and today's video is my fabric and pattern haul from kind of the tail end of December, kind of January-ish kind of time. Basically a lot of this stuff I got in sales. Um, so I've got fabric to show you and I've got patterns to show you and I do also have just a couple of extra bits I'd like to show you as well. So I'll start off by saying what I'm wearing. This is the Nina Lee Southbank sweater dress and it's in this gorgeous squirrel print um, fabric which is all uh, fleeced on the inside so it's lovely and cosy. So let's start off with, uh, let's do labels. So um, these are labels that I purchased that you can uh, sew inside your Minades. And I follow Tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne on uh, YouTube and Instagram, and I love watching her videos. And these labels were actually in uh, a couple of her videos recently. And um, I just loved how they looked and I just love how different they are. So I had to go and purchase some for myself. <laughs> now the company is called Little Rosy Cheeks. And from what I understand, they are quite a new company. And um, yeah, I got this little card and um, it did say on there, Happy Sewing Michelle from Victoria. And I got a little free extra little label here, which says you are loved. So that is gorgeous. So I got an extra label. Now I bought two different styles of label and I haven't unwrapped them from their little packaging because the packaging is so cute. And uh, so I've got these ones uh, here, which are called uh, Perfectly Me. And I love this design on here. You kind of got like a sort of animal kind of zebra print here. And then these like colors are really, really pretty. And I just think that little packaging is just absolutely lovely. So they are woven labels, as you can see on the back there. So um, yeah, that was the first ones that I got. And then these ones were just gorgeous. And these say, be strong, be happy, be you. So I loved that. And these lovely flowers and leaves. And again, the colours are just so pretty. So yeah, I got uh, two packs of those and I can't wait to use those in my me maids. So I do have quite a little stash of sewing labels because I do like to personalise them, like my garments and things. And um, depending on how I'm feeling, once I finish the garment, um, I put in the appropriate label with the saying of my choice. <laughs> so yeah, I do like having uh, those labels. So yeah, that'll make a lovely addition to my collection. So speaking of uh, YouTube channels that I follow, um, another one is Laura from the Specky Seamstress. Now, probably a lot of you already know of her channel and how she has now branched out into creating her own business, um, creating bias tape. Now, she launched a Kickstarter campaign a few months back. And as soon as I heard about it, I just had to support her. So I did um, put in an order as part of her Kickstarter. And the bias uh, tape that um, I ordered arrived actually in December. And I ordered a few of the designs because there was just so many to choose from. It was so difficult. But um, yeah, I went for five different designs. And so this is the designs that I picked. So we've got this lovely pink and um, kind of, well, different colour pink, like a dark pink and a brighter pink saying made to measure with all these little hearts. We've then got this lovely um, kind of turquoise, which is the um, Sewing Appreciation Society. Look at these, these gorgeous little dinosaurs on this minty background. We've then got this one, which has a navy background with all these planets. And then of course this one, which is um, kind of like a cream background. And then it's got all these different glasses on. Because yeah, I wear glasses and <laughs> I just thought that was really cute, that little design. So I got those. And um, you may have actually seen in my recent video, my um, So Hayley Jane unboxing video for January, I also got some bias tape in that box as well, which was these little hearts. And, um, and then it was actually a few weeks ago, I uh, got tagged on Instagram 
by the lovely Ruan, who also has a YouTube channel. She is the Yorkshire Sew Girl, and I love her channel. She is just hilarious. I really, really like her channel. So if you haven't heard of her, please go and check her out. I'll link her down below. And she tagged me um, in one of um, Laura's Instagram posts because she released a new load of designs um, for her bias tape. And Ruan actually tagged me and said, Michelle, I think there's something that you're going to like in here. And yeah, I saw it. I had to order it straight away. I don't think this is coming to any surprise to anyone, but it's cats. <laughs> All these gorgeous little cat faces. It is just absolutely adorable. So yeah, all these different um, colour cat designs. So when I saw it, I just had to order it. It's just so cute. And I got uh, four metres of this one because yeah, it's just so cute. So now I have got a whole load of bias tape. Now, if you followed me for any length of time, you may actually know that I actually don't like bias binding. Or I say, it's not that I don't like bias binding. Bias binding doesn't like me. Every time I've tried to do some bias binding, um, it always goes a bit skew with and a bit wrong. Now, I must admit the bias binding that I usually get, I don't know necessarily how good a quality it is, but these um, fabrics that Laura has for her bias tape is really soft and so I think actually this might be a lot easier to work with. So, you know, I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone and I'm going to be trying to attempt more uh, garments using bias binding finishes because these designs are just adorable. So it would just make such a lovely addition, like, you know, to my garments, having these gorgeous little designs, uh, you know, peeking on the inside. So yeah, I just kind of thought, yep, let's buy it and uh, give it a go. <laughs> so yeah, you may see uh, in my future sewing plans more uh, garments that require some bias binding. So yeah, <laughs> that was that. Okay, so I'm gonna now show you the um, patterns that I bought. Now I've got a selection of printed and PDF. So let me go through the PDF patterns that I bought first. So I've written them down here just in case I forget which ones I ordered. Um, so let's start off actually with um, Sew Over It. Now Sew Over It every year do a PDF club and what you do is you pay a, uh, a one-off payment and then you join their PDF club. So that means that throughout the year every time they release a new pattern um, on PDF, it means you get a 10% discount if you would want to purchase that pattern. Now, I think it's changed names now because it used to be called the PDF Club. I think they've now called it the VIP Club and the price has gone up a little bit. When I first joined, I think it was about £5 for the year. Um, then I think, I can't remember last year, it might have gone up by a couple more pounds, but then this year they have put it up to £10. And I have to admit, I was kind of thinking, is it worth it? You know, I don't actually buy a whole lot of the Sew Over It PDF patterns. But then I kind of thought, with that subscription, you only paid £10 for the whole year and you get the opportunity to save 10% off all of their PDF patterns that they release during um, the year, um, you only get like a certain amount of time to get that discount, but you still get the discount if you want the pattern. But also you, when you sign up, you can pick one of their PDFs of choice for free. So most of their PDFs, I think are between about 11 and 13 pounds, I think. So if you're paying 10 pounds, you're already getting a saving on um, the PDF that you buy anyway. So, yeah, I just kind of thought it'd be a good idea. So I did sign up to the uh, Sew Over It VIP club. So as I say, £10 and I managed to get a free pattern from that as well. So the free pattern that I picked was the Esther blouse. And I really like the look of this blouse. When it was released last year, um, because I've been part of the PDF club before, um, it came up and it did offer me my 10% discount, but I didn't actually go for it at the time because 
I just kind of thought, oh, I need to think about it a bit. It was one of those patterns where I wasn't 100% sure whether I would actually make it. But then the more that I've seen it and the more that I've seen people make it up, I kind of think, actually, that's quite a nice little pattern. And it's just a little bit different. So it's kind of like a wrap design and um, it's got like the buttons down um, one side and it just looks like a really nice little blouse. So I thought, yep, yeah, that would be one that I would select for my free pattern. And then hopefully this year um, there'll be lots of other patterns that Sew Over It release. And um, because I've signed up to the club, it means then I'll get 10% off any of their new PDF releases. So hopefully lots of nice patterns this year. And then the next patterns that I bought, I bought two patterns from AK Patterns. Now, if you follow AK Patterns on Instagram, you would have seen that unfortunately they are shutting down. Um, obviously they have their, their reasons for that, but I never purchased any patterns from them. I've been following um, uh, on Instagram for a while, but just never purchased them. And they announced to say, you know, this is your last opportunity. If you do want any of our patterns that you can purchase them, and I think they're offering 20% off um, all of the patterns. So I kind of thought, well, this is my last opportunity. So if there is something that I actually do have my eye on, then let's buy it now. So I did buy two items. I bought the Samantha dress, which is a lovely little dress. So it's a wrap dress and it's got one feature I love is this little collar on it. And um, yeah, it just looked really sweet. And I must admit, I did see this dress quite a while ago. And I must admit, I was thinking, oh, I need to purchase that at some point. But I just never got round to it because probably a lot like everybody. <laughs> there's so many patterns that I have on my kind of wish list or to make list that you kind of have to prioritise which ones you kind of want to buy. Um, but yeah, I'd seen that a few times. So I thought, yeah, that would be a nice one. And then the other dress uh, that I purchased was the Heidi dress. And I really like this one as well because this one's got this lovely ruffle detail kind of going down these uh, princess seams. Now you may have seen I made the Phoebe Flounce um, dress or the, the Phoebe Flounce top and Phoebe Maxi combo together. Um, and that had this kind of flounce. And I thought it was really, really cute. I really, really liked that. But um, this um, Heidi dress is a bit different. It's got a different shaped um, skirt on it because I did kind of like a maxi uh, kind of style, like peasant skirt um, on mine. And this one I just kind of really liked the shape of. And again, I've seen a few different variations of the pattern and I did like it. So yeah, I thought I would snap that one up as well. And then the last PDF pattern that I did buy was from So Have 7 and it is the Merlot Field Tee. Now, I think this was probably in December, I think, that I purchased this one. And I love a t-shirt, absolutely love a t-shirt. And I really liked the design of this one. I kind of thought it had a lot of colour blocking opportunities with it as well. So it means that I could maybe uh, use up some of my scraps for the uh, certain parts on the uh, sleeve area. And uh, yeah, I just thought it was a really nice little pattern. And I can't remember how much I got off that. It might have been like 30% or something, I think, from that one. But I just kind of thought, yeah, again, it's one of those patterns. I had my eye on it for a while and just thought, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Okay, and then let's talk about the printed patterns that I got. I got three printed patterns and I purchased all of these from Sew Wardrobe. They had a 20% off everything sale. And I love it when um, shops do that because a lot of the time you may notice on certain um, shops, they may have a discount just on fabric, but not on patterns. So I love it when they do a you know a certain percentage of everything because then it means you can get your uh, paper patterns at a discount as well. So I bought three from uh, from them. So the first one is the Friday Pattern Company Westcliff dress, and I've had my eye on this for a little time as well because 
I don't know what it is. I just, I've never made or owned a wrap dress. And I don't know why, but I'm really into wanting to make wrap dresses or wrap tops at the moment. I think it's just that kind of phase that's going in my mind. <laughs> and um, I'd seen a few uh, versions of this over on Instagram. And I just thought this would be a lovely dress to sew up. So as you can see, it is a wrap dress um, like top here. You've got this waist tie and I love the skirt, how it's got this second tier. Um, so you've got a nice maxi length version there. You also can um, take off that lower tier and just have it as a nice little dress without the lower tier. And again, I thought that would be lovely for summer. I do love Friday Pattern Company as a, uh, a pattern brand because their um, uh, instructions are always really good and I think their designs are just always a little bit interesting. And um, yeah, I do have a few of their, um, their patterns now and I really, really like them. So looking forward to making that one up. This one is jersey as well, just to make everyone aware in case you didn't know. So yeah, nice and cosy. <laughs> And then the next pattern is the Nina Lee Camden pinafore dress and skirt. Again, I've seen this quite a lot. I know that um, I, over on YouTube, um, Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door, she loves the skirt of this. And I think she does have a sew along for it as well. And I do remember watching the sew along thinking, oh, actually, that's not too difficult to make. And um, yeah, I've seen a few versions of it and I was just really intrigued by it. I do love a pinafore dress. Now I do have the Tilly and the Buttons um, Make It Simple book where I've got the olive pinafore, which is a kind of, kind of almost similar design to this, but it doesn't have these um, large pockets and um, it doesn't have this middle um, kind of waist section. And um, this one also zips up at the back, whereas the olive buttons up at the front. So I did think it was different enough um, to purchase. And um, yeah, I just kind of thought that would be a nice little project at some point. And then the last pattern that I purchased from Sew Wardrobe was uh, the blouse from the Avid Seamstress. Now you may have seen that this pattern is actually on my Make 9 sewing plans. So I made those plans and um, then the Sew Wardrobe had their sale and I saw this in there and I thought, well, that's perfect. I can get the pattern that I want at a discount and I cannot wait to make this. I really, really like the way that it looks. I mean, I've gone into the detail on my Make 9 as to why I like it so much, but I just kind of thought, yeah, get that pattern, then I'm all ready to go um, when I want to make that. So yeah, I'm very happy that I picked that one up. Okay, so let's talk fabric. I purchased a few items, not, I didn't go overboard actually. I was quite, uh, I was quite restrained, I think for me. <laughs> so I purchased some plain um, knit. So the first one is this dusky rose um, color. And I just picked this up from eBay. Um, I think it was the textile plaza. I think it was, um, and it was uh, £9 a metre, or I think £8.99 a metre, and it's just this kind of dusky uh, pink. Now, the quality on this is quite nice. Um, I wouldn't say it's amazing quality. I would just say that it's, you know, I'm not disappointed with it, but I've had softer French terries. So you can see here, you've got the loops on there. And, you know, it's not see-through or anything. It is quite lightweight, but I bought this because I wanted to uh, do some contrast um, with another fabric that I own. Uh, you may have seen that um, I'm going to be doing a sew along at some point for um, a lounge set using this fabric that I got from Sew Wardrobe ages ago. And I wanted to have a contrast fabric to use for like the cuffs and the neck bands and things. And I thought this dusky rose would be quite nice with that because it kind of matches the colour of the girl's hat. So I kind of thought that would be quite a nice little contrast fabric. So that's why I purchased that one. And then I did buy three jerseys from uh, the Maker's Merchant. And um, I bought actually two jerseys and one French terry. So the first one. Look how gorgeous this pink is. So it's the 
it's a really bright vivid pink and I really like this colour because it's just so bright and in your face. And yeah, I love colour. <laughs> and I thought this would make a really nice T-shirt. And again, going back to my Make Nine plans, um, I'm thinking this would be lovely as the iris tee because it's got that gorgeous little pleat detail on the sleeves. And I just kind of thought a plain fabric might show that up quite well. So I did buy that for hopefully that idea. I mean, I don't know. I could change my mind. And then I did pick up just some uh, navy jersey just for the stash. I do find that I use quite a bit of navy jersey just with, you know, contrasting sleeves and things. I do have a bit of an idea of what I might use this for, but I'll share that probably in, in another video um, if what I think I want to do will work. And then I also picked up some red French terry. And again, I do have an idea for this. Um, I am making something where I want to use a contrasting fabric. Um, again, I will go into that probably once I've made it because it is a gift for somebody. So um, yeah, I bought that with the intention of using that as a coordinating fabric. So I kind of do have plans for those fabrics, which is good. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to say the Maker's Merchant fabric, I got 20% off um, in their sale from those. So yeah, nice little discount there. So now I'm going to show you my last fabrics, which I purchased from Planet Make It. Now, I have never bought from this uh, company before, but I have followed them over on Instagram for quite a while. They have beautiful fabric. And I'll just be totally honest, the reason why I hadn't purchased from them um, until now is because they mainly sell designer fabrics. So it is the more expensive fabrics. So your Lady McElroy, um, See You at Six, um, Atelier Dupe, um, Atelier Brunette, you know, those kind of um, fabrics. And they do sometimes have a bit of a hefty price tag. So, um, you know, I I do tend to vary what I spend on fabric depending on what I want it for. But I don't often get the more designer fabrics. But I decided to treat myself. <laughs> so uh, they put up that they had 30% off all their fabric. And I was like, oh, 30% off like the designer fabric that's actually quite good. You don't often see um, fabrics like that, uh, that bigger discount. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to spoil myself. So I purchased two fabrics from them and they are both Atelier Brunette. I have never purchased Atelier Brunette fabric before and I was so excited. I was, I was literally there like adding them in my basket going, no, 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 I won't do it. Take them out. Then adding them in again and going, no, 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 I, I, I don't need expensive fabric of in, out, in, out. That's literally what it was until my brain went ping, no, just order them. So yeah. I'm so glad I did because they are beautiful. So I'll show you the first one. Uh, this is on a gorgeous kind of dark greeny kind of background. And uh, this is just gorgeous. It's a viscose dobby. And if you can see, can you see all these little dots in there? It's just lovely. And oh, this is just so soft. <laughs> it's so nice. You can just, you can feel that it is quality. And if you've had any Atelier Brunette, then yeah, as soon as you touch it, you just know you are touching a really good quality fabric. And Oh, the colours in this are just gorgeous. And I just thought it would make the most beautiful little blouse. I'm thinking even the um, the Avid Seamstress blouse would just be adorable in that. Um, so I did pick up two metres of this uh, just because I thought it was just going to be so classy for a little blouse. And oh, just I love the colours. It's just so, so pretty. So yeah, that was the first one that I got. <laughs> and then the second one is um, a viscose. And oh, this one is just so pretty. So this is, um, I think it's called Shade. I think it is. I can't remember what the names of them were. Um, but it is this cream background with these kind of uh, blue 
kind of bits in it and I if you can kind of see I think I know why it's called shade is because it kind of looks you know like when you get palm trees and their leaves kind of you know cross over and you get like these little kind of bits of kind of sunlight or shade kind of creeping through and that's I think kind of what the design is meant to be it's just gorgeous and again oh it just feels so so nice and um yeah I mean don't get me wrong it is expensive fabric at full price and I think I would probably struggle paying the full price for it but on sale at 30% off absolute bargain and I think knowing that I didn't pay full price for them I'm hoping in my head it won't make me scared of cutting into them <laughs> You, I mean, I'm sure lots of you are probably the same. If you spend a lot on fabric and you think, yeah, that would make a beautiful, you know, top or dress or something, and then you go to cut it out and you're like, oh, I'm a bit scared <laughs> because it's expensive. I mean, I'm, I am quite like that. But because I got 30% off, then, you know, I'm hoping I'm not going to be too scared to cut into it. So again, for this, I got two metres and yeah i just thought it might make a really nice blouse i thought this one might be actually quite nice for the sorry over esther blouse maybe if i got some blue buttons to put kind of on the on the side of the wrap i think would be really nice so yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but oh it is just such a nice quality <laughs> um so i'm actually really really happy that i did push the boat out on that and um, I think, yeah, I just, I mean, I, I buy fabric of different varieties of, you know, price and things. But yeah, you can tell with these that the quality of the fabric is just gorgeous. So that was my haul. And I really hope you enjoyed seeing all of those bits. Let me know if you have any of those fabrics or you have any of those patterns, you know, any tips or anything like that that you have with them always appreciated <laughs> so hope you enjoyed and I will speak to you in my next video take care bye